Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to do a comprehensive guide from beginning to end how to install uh, Pool V2K4's mods and some of the mods I consider to be fairly essential and how to install the faces all in one go from beginning to end because I do have these videos separately um, and whilst some of them are linked, some people find it hard getting hold of them so this will be one giant video on how to do it from beginning to end. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go delete the mod data file uh, folder. Now, if you're a first time installer of mods, you will not have this folder. This is the cached folder of all the mods that you have installed. Frosty utilizes it. Paul's does, but doesn't just to a large extent due to his doesn't have the caching issues. If there is normally an issue with a mod, deleting mod data and repairing would solve it nine times out of ten so let's go ahead and delete mod data be very careful to get mod data as you saw that that was around about 3.9 gigabytes the data folder let's have it bring up see that 35.4 gigabytes that's your main data for the game if you accidentally delete that you're gonna have to re-download fifa it's something i've done a couple of times i think paul has done many of us have accidentally clicked the wrong one so just double check the second file we're going to delete is this one up here called cryptbase.dll so deleting it it's an essential file so i bet you're screaming there going why are you deleting if it's an essential file well the next phase is why it's important that we delete it fifa cannot function without that file so when we go and repair the game is going to scan the files to make sure that all the essential files is there. Once it gets to Cryptbase and it realizes it's not there, it's going to go, oh no, it's not there. There could be other files missing. So it's going to scan through all your other files. And if there is any that are corrupt or have been accidentally deleted, then it will read down the whole lot of them. So now that I've deleted that, let's go to FIFA. Right click on FIFA, click repair. Now, this trick traditionally can take anywhere up to, to five minutes, um, depending on how quick your, your net is, how quick it, um, your, your drives off are reading. So while it's doing that, let's go ahead. I've created, um, first let's set up our launcher. So I've created a folder there, pull V, 2K4's modding tool 20.4, that's the current version. Open that up. Now I've pre-downloaded all the mods. It'd be pointless showing a video where I'm sitting there downloading them. Um, so we're gonna take that, open it up. You wanna copy all the files straight over. Boom. That's done. Easy. We're just going to double click on that because it's Windows will bring a warning up because it doesn't know what it is. See, Windows protected your PC. Click more info, click run anyway. There's nothing wrong with the UI. It's fine. So there we go. That's working. But what I want to do, I want to create a shortcut. There's nothing worse than having to click through different folders. Um, so where are we? Modding tool, all the way down to the UI. There we go. Next, next, there we go. For when we need that. So in my current mods, I have the realism, the gameplay, um, some two kits, a Sky Sports TV logo, AIO, for those who don't know, AIO stands for All in One. This is a huge licensing mod. Um, but you might notice that I've not got the faces. So, again, I'm not going to show downloading because it's a very, I mean, let's have, check how big this file is. Um, 1.53 gigabytes. That's a lot. So, when you double click into there, there's two zip files that we need. MPR and my face pics. So let's take both of them and copy it into our current mods. So 
uh, there's the dynamic file system is what we're going to use in a bit but we're waiting for uh, FIFA to finish um, downloading and verifying the game files so while it's doing that you can actually preload some of your mods so there is a certain order uh, where did I put it Should have named it better. There we go. My current mods. Okay. So always 100% of the time at the top is the realism. That goes first. Then you want AIO. There is another version of AIO which is done by Musley, which is called FCLP, which stands for FIFA Community Licensing Patch. The, the reason that there's two different ones, Mosley created AIO, quit modding back in January, passed the project on to Paul, and then came back. When he came back, he decided to add the 2020-21 uh, uh, season kits in. So we, we knew a lot of people didn't want the newer kits, so we kept this one updated. Up until 3.4 is when Mosley took those out, so they are pretty much exactly the same version. So I am using the non-Club World Cup version. So let's stick that there. Okay. So when it comes, then we're going to do our faces. So you always need MPR to be above the My Faces pick. Um, now we do the My Faces pick. Now we're going to add the kits so this is a custom kit by gangster 7 amazing kits there are so many amazing fantasy kit makers um out there uh darker b arathel uh it's a gangster rice car there, there is so many out there that do these kits that you definitely have to check some of them out um because they are absolutely brilliant um the gk kit i don't like the man city has the pink kit which i think is too close to the arsenal red so this is a, a green kit so therefore i don't get confused then we're going to put in sky sports down at the bottom and always 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 100 percent of the time you want to put gameplay okay so next we need to actually connect the launcher to FIFA. So if I double check there, that's all done. So that's brilliant. Uh, browse for FIFA. Program files. Origin. FIFA 20. There we go. Now that's all ready to go. But we haven't installed the DFS system. The DFS system stands for Dynamic Face System. So we need to go and find the main FIFA folder and copy the folders from the Mega Face update. So the dynamic file system. So if we double click into that, we take all of those and we're going to copy them directly into the main FIFA folder. Boom, look at that. We just installed the dynamic face system. Now, when we go in, into the game, they're all installed. But don't quite click off it yet. So there's one thing that a lot of people, when we see issues with the gameplay mod, where people say it's not working or it's too easy because they haven't installed it properly. So you just saw there, I've got the hard patch one, double click, there's a data folder. If we go across and have a look. Oh, look, there's a data folder in the main FIFA folder. What a coincidence. So if we take this and drag it in. Do you want to replace it? Yes. There we go. We've now installed the locale.ini, which is like 99% of the gameplay. It's strange how one small little file system it's pretty much all the gameplay. So let's close that up. So we've got everything in the correct order. 
now we can actually launch. So this can come up from time to time. We're going to allow it. There's nothing wrong with it. This is just AVG being strange. Okay. So it's still, if it doesn't launch it, we'll just con close it down and do it again. So it's still saved it all in the correct order. Launch. Now we can see down the bottom, it's moved on to the next one. It's loading up. Then it's going to hit all the faces and boom, look at that. There's a, in between the two mods of MPR and my faces, there's close to over 500 faces. Now this is very important. I'm going to bring up task manager. It, the UI, why, cause remember it's lo just loaded 500 faces. AIO is full of kits, banners, flags, um, ad boards, goalkeeper kits for the um, for the lower leagues in the English league that's loaded all of them at once so it, it is going to use a lot of memory loading so if you have less than than eight gig it may end up taking it all this will happen on for, just the way that it's loaded because we've loaded that many if it is an issue you can always open up the my face zips take some out or do whatever but I think most people have at least 16 gig um, in their computer. So this number will shrink once it comes to opening up FIFA. And it will shrink back down to between 4 to 5 gig, um, which is perfectly fine. So once we're in, we'll go to Edit Player and show the faces are working. So there we go, FIFA's just launched there we go it's loading the game up so what I'm going to do is to go into the game and to go to some uh, players that do not have um, a, a face or a scanned face by EA so we can tell if the DFS is working So for gameplay, we recommend I cancel here to, so you don't connect to the EA servers. So now we're in the game, we're going, I'm going to show you some of the faces. Now, due to a persistent EA bug, um, every time I go to click on edit real player, it crashes the game. This isn't a mod issue. This is an EA issue due to either corrupted squad file or it doesn't like the squad file. Uh, some people have it with no mods, with no with issue, with nothing, just normal thing. It just doesn't want to load. So I'm going to show it from inside my career. Because that editor shouldn't crash. There we go. Let's go across and go to... Go to Man United. Because I know there's a lot of faces that they got added. So there's Greenwood, Daniel James, Bruno Fernandes, McTominay got added. So that's how you know that the DFS is working. So now that that's working, you've now installed all the mods from beginning to end. Now the best place to always find the latest mods is in the download link after every single i normally edit these posts and add brand new links every time there is a new version updated but the biggest one especially for pools is check the announcements please 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 check the announcements it is very frustrating having to people say is the new version out yet yes we posted it on announcements if you didn't ignore it the other place to check is Paul's site. There, if you, uh, so there's the career, there's the gameplay, or you can click search and it shows all the latest ones. If it has a little red 
thing next to it. You see that? This is not compatible with the latest version of FIFA. Now, if it's gameplay, ignore it. Because gameplay does not have to be updated because it doesn't have legacy files. If it's a realism mod, then yeah, don't install it because that has legacy files and it won't work. Same with manager clothing, that's a legacy file, so that won't work. But that's where you'll find the mods. As you can see there for the modding tool, there's been a few numerous versions. Always get the latest version. So I hope that guide helps in you installing from beginning to end on how to install the mods. I hope that helps. And if there's any other questions or you need any other help, just ask on Discord and there'll be plenty of us uh, around to help. Thank you for watching.